beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed stay blessed. a witness is one whose assignment is to prove the validity of a statement is a defender are we together now it's a legal terminology like you go to the the court of law and you are asked do you have a witness at the point where whatever action was taken was there an individual who can attest for you now remember we were not there when jesus died but the Bible says there is something that the Holy Ghost can bring to our lives. Are we together now? And it says that anointing, that power can make us witnesses, validators. Validators of the claims of Jesus. Listen, without a system for validating the claims of Jesus, there is no reason to be a Christian. Are we together now? Yes. It matters that the claims of Jesus be validated in the life of the saints and in the territories where they are domiciled. It matters that men know that this Jesus that we seek and this Jesus that we serve, listen carefully, is not just a mirage, he's not a doctrine, he's not just theology, that he's alive and lives forevermore. And there is the power that makes us validators. Are we together now? It says we shall receive the power. I hope that you people are not coming out of any pressure. Please make sure you are not. Are we together now? If we just have two of them, that's okay. They can just, it's just a token um, of the testimony so that I can fulfill whatever it is. Can we pause for a moment and, and, and then let's hear their testimony. Come, my dear. Just tell us quickly. I don't have your name here. Praise the Lord. My name is Jennifer John Oleku. For four to five years now, I have a lump in my right breast. But after the prayer last night, this morning I was dressing and then I checked myself. It was gone to the glory of God. Completely the lump. How long? Yes. Four to five years. You checked this morning. Yes, sir. And it's gone completely. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. We do not take for granted, you know, you people are so used to miracles in this place. When something happens, you just laugh and um, never get familiar with the presence of God. It says that, um, how did he put it now? I, I'm trying to remember a scripture that the Bible put. Um, Philemon chapter 1 verse 6. I can't remember the, the, the quotation, but I remember the verse. Philemon 1 verse 6. Give it to us. There's no point struggling when we can read it. Philemon 1 verse 6. Can we have it? Okay, I'll just turn there. I just wanted to encourage us with that scripture. One moment, my dear, and I'll pray for you. Philemon chapter 1.
and verse 6 that the communication of your faith might be effectual by the what acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ so the communication of your faith is effectual when you take note of the slightest thing god does lord i had headache yesterday and all of a sudden it's not there now the bible says it can boost your faith the communication of your faith is made effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing there was a lump on my breast and now i've checked and it's not there while i'm trusting god to give another miracle i do not ignore what he has done are we together now In the name of jesus may the lord perfect you never never returns again in jesus name come my dear let's give jesus praise for her go ahead your name and your testimony praise god my name is gloria faga yesterday you prayed about those that can hear with your right ear after the prayer i was able to hear couldn't hear with your right ear you're sure how long 20 years now um how old are you now do you mind <laughs> hallelujah interesting and and for that long for 20 years what happened just that pin him in and, and that was it and right now you can hear with it which of them it will never return to you again in the name of jesus the same way the lord opened your ears may every part of your destiny be opened in the name of jesus christ give jesus praise thank you thank you thank you thank you hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord thank you thank you so much so we we're discussing acts chapter 1 and verse 8 now while jesus was on earth please follow me carefully while jesus was on earth the bible lets us know that he lived an invincible life he lived a life of power he lived a life of intelligence he lived a life of grace he lived a life that was full of the spirit and when you begin to read john 15 john 16 jesus began to tell us please listen that he was going to introduce us to another comforter another helper now most believers read this and they just think that okay he was just talking to pentecostals please listen you have to understand this for what we are doing tonight to make sense are we together those outside are we together and so jesus said to them i have many things to tell you now but ye cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he says he will guide you notice now jesus is teaching he will guide you into all truth. He will take of the things that are mine and reveal to you. The Bible said it's the Holy Spirit that convicts the world. Do you know one of the things that I've learned about the miraculous is that miracles on their own never, never change people. Are we together? The disciples saw every kind of miracle in the ministry of Jesus. And even when he resurrected, the Bible says some doubted they saw the sick healed they saw the dead raised they saw whatever would happen happen but they had the effrontery to doubt jesus the scribes and the pharisees they were represented at every crusade yet with what they saw they still doubted jesus without the presence of the holy spirit there is no genuine conviction that's why you can see people clap over fantastic miracles carry the testimonies around town and never change themselves they are celebrators of the finger of God, but they are never benefactors of that grace. So Jesus began to teach us that the Holy Spirit has a ministry to believers. He has a ministry to unbelievers. And Jesus said that he will reprove the world, the fallen system of men, of sin, of righteousness, of judgment. And then to the believers, he will guide them in all truth he will do this and that the bible began to tell us all the things that jesus would do now let me tell you this one of the things that i have discovered is that most believers cannot separate between the present day ministry of christ and his ministry while he walked on earth are we together now and so most people still wait on jesus to do what he has left the holy spirit to do for us you have to listen to what i'm teaching you now 
Are we together now? Jesus said, it is expedient, advantageous for you that I go. Why? So that the comforter, the helper, the same word that is used for a woman in the life of a man, the helper will come. The helper will come. That means Jesus was saying, come. Jesus was saying, he that told. I represent the presence and the ministry of the Holy Spirit to you. But shortly I'm going to go away, but I will not leave you comfortless. Is that true? Someone else will come to hold your hands and continue. Is the Greek word alos parakletos. The word alos means of the same kind. Heteros, where we get heterogeneous, means of another kind, another species. So another person is coming and he is no different from who I am in terms of ability, in terms of purpose, in terms of function. It says when he comes, he will continue my ministry. Everybody say continue my ministry. So the Holy Spirit today represents to the body of Christ what Jesus represented to the apostles. Are we together? Most people, Jesus help me. Jesus save me. I know that it looks emotional. But Jesus has no business helping you and saving you today. He has already done that. He's seated at the right hand of the Father. Making intercession for the saints. That's the limit of his ministry now. The personality he has sent on earth to represent his voice, his plan, is the Holy Spirit. Are we together now? Yes. You pray to the Father, agreed. You pray in the name of Jesus, but the personality sent on earth to work with the believer, to cause the believer's life to be an unfolding of beauty and glory is the Holy Spirit. Never claim you love Jesus and ignore the Holy Spirit. That's hypocrisy. There are so many people who love God sincerely, but the unbecoming of their lives and destinies and families it can be traceable to their ignoring the Holy Spirit. It's not that they don't believe in him. They know he is somewhere, one of the Godhead somewhere, and he's on earth. If you are interested, if you want power, go to him. And since I'm not a preacher, I know he's just there. If that is your understanding about the Holy Spirit, you will never become victorious. Weak people, feeble people, but the Holy Spirit came upon their lives and turned their lives into signs, turned their lives into wonders. They shook their generation. The Bible says, time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Look at these ordinary women. And in our generation, we talk of women like Catherine Kuhlman, people like William, um, 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 what's his name, Seymour, and all of these great ordinary people, born like any other entity. But when they encountered this personality and they dared to trust him, look what he did with their lives. The Holy Spirit can change anybody's life. My life is a testimony. Don't trivialize the Holy Spirit. He will make a wonder out of your life. If you're with me, say amen. amen. We have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Pastors have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I wonder what a pastor will be doing ignoring the ministry of the Holy Spirit. There's no ministry without him. What are you teaching? That's the reason why we have too much talk with no demonstration of the validity. When I talk of demonstration, I don't mean falling down and rolling. No, I'm talking about the life producing power. It says, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech, but the demonstration of power that your faith will not be on the wisdom of men, Sophia, but on the power of God. We have a generation full of theologians and theoretical people. And we men of God keep proposing. Do you know what? how dangerous it is to keep wetting the appetite of people about what God can do and then they never come into that experience? There is a difference between the waiting of faith and hopelessness. The waiting of faith is that you are sure you have engaged what will bring an expected end. And you are simply allowing the law of process to find expression. Are we together? The Holy Spirit takes ordinary people 
and turns them into wonders the holy spirit is not for men of god please let me burn this into your spirit in the name of jesus the holy spirit is not for men of god the holy spirit is for all believers he is a real person he can be known he can be related with it's just that we have not been taught we've not been taught the usefulness of his person the holy spirit today represents the unlimited presence of jesus he represents the power of god he's the manifestation of the glory of god the holy spirit is so powerful he turned jesus to a seed and put him in the womb of a woman what can he not turn in Genesis chapter 1 when you read the Bible says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and then when you read verse 2 the Bible says now the earth was dark and formless and all of that just like the lives of several people dark, void formless, scattered families scattered into pieces and the Bible says he's the creative force that began to hover around and then God spoke let there be and there was and he said it was good remember the goodness of god cannot be seen outside of the holy spirit the only reason why it became good was because of the holy spirit i look at my life today and i imagine what a failure i would have become without him it's not about oratory no it's his presence we're all gathered today scattered around and people following connected from all over the world today from this location because of the holy spirit when you believe him in your life sister he will turn you into a wonder i'm telling you this when you believe him in your life this is not the issue of being a christian this is an issue of saying holy spirit you were sent by jesus to be an extension of his ministry everywhere you see the name jesus in the experience of the disciples you can safely replace it with holy spirit aside from salvation the work of salvation on the cross when there was no wine they ran to jesus so when there is no beauty and freshness in your life you run spirit of the living god you represent jesus for me jesus is not physically here in cana but i come to you and he says i you are correct i can bless you when jesus was moving and he saw certain people idle he said why sittest thou idle they said no man employ us he said go and a job came so you go to the holy spirit and say spirit of the living god this joblessness you represent jesus to me an extension of the ministry of jesus when the tribute remember jimmy's powerful teaching when the tax collectors and the wicked system of this world came to embarrass the sons of life it was jesus that instructed peter go to the fish and now you run to the holy spirit spirit of god my finances there are bills to pay i don't know what to do i come to you an extension of the ministry of jesus are we together yes everything literally that jesus was to the disciples to the dense civilization of man is who the holy spirit is to us today it's who the holy spirit is to us today jesus sent the disciples and told them to go two by two and they returned in power they said master even the devils were subject to us through thy name and he said do not rejoice because demons are subject to us in your name rejoice because your name is written in the book of life this is jesus speaking so now when you need empowerment to go and represent jesus because he is not there physically you go to the holy spirit you have to be the one to send me to that meeting i'm going for that crusade there are blind eyes there are deaf ears there are all kinds of people the power of the holy spirit we're going to talk about power shortly but i'm introducing the person of the holy spirit it has been my cry for years that there be a generation that not only seek god as a hypothetical reality but that you can come to the holy spirit facebook has taught us that you can relate with someone without seeing his face like some of you have friends you've had friends for years you've never seen their faces yet you have even been connected to their emotional impulses you know when they are angry you know where they are happy yet everything was through chatting it is possible to know a man without seeing his face hmm. 
how could you do ministry without the Holy Spirit? What are you preaching? Sister, how could you dare get married without the Holy Spirit? What do you want to do in that marriage? Give birth when there is a wicked devil that wants to close your womb. Brother, why do you want to get married without him? Don't you know that marriage is a triangle? He is the first person and then you and the wife are under. You go two of you like a string, you are in trouble. When two of you are apart, it is him that brings you back. The Holy Spirit. People do business without him. We carry our pride all around believing that we are educated and we ignore him. And we watch our wisdom fail in the presence of circumstances. How many preachers just come out with our accolades and we believe I have experience. I've been in the ministry for 30 years and it's very clear there's no result in our lives. Listen, I'm reintroducing the person of the Holy Spirit. You may have experienced his anointing but do you know him? Do you know him? He's the secret behind this ministry you see. This young man standing before you is dangerously in love with him. He is the secret behind this life that you so see and admire. For he truly brings beauty out of your life. 32 verse 15, Isaiah. Until the spirit be poured upon Joshua Selman from on high. And then this life that is an utter wilderness. Now becomes counted for a fruitful vine. And a fruitful vine be counted for a forest. He truly brings beauty and glory. I'm not asking you whether you are educated. I'm not asking you whether you can speak English. I'm not asking you whether your father is in politics. I'm asking you, do you know him? He's brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. Lord, you are brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from God you are brooding over all my darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark you see li listen listen brothers and sisters let me tell you something we live in a society where nobody believes in you don't sit down getting angry that they don't believe in me they deserve to not believe in you but you ignore them and walk with the holy spirit give him time and watch the wonder he will produce he met a young virgin called mary and said mary the angel came on his behalf just believe and watch what will happen that you can be pregnant without a man that it is possible that because you did not have the privilege to have a godfather somewhere can anything good come out of nazareth and the holy spirit says hold my hand and he said lord i can't even talk like moses don't worry hold my hands and he turns you into a sign and a wonder and people say is this not the lady we used to know beauty and glory that you in a little one room somewhere you are still struggling to raise 7,000 and pay. But you bring the Holy Spirit. I don't have a big house, but I invite you into my room. I tell you, his presence will squeeze you out of that room. And take you where looks like him. That's the Holy Spirit for you. He's the lifter of men. This thing is not magic. It's not just prophecy. I'm telling you this. Listen to what I'm telling you. If you are a man of God here or you are called into ministry or you have the call of God upon your life, listen twice. Close down any ministry when you don't know his presence because you are on the way to utter frustration. I know this about him. He's brooding over all my darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness Lord you are brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from darkness I remember in, two, in 2004 standing and witnessing crowds like this in Reinhard Bonke's crusade I saw what the Holy Spirit could do with a young German, not so educated, not so fluent. He didn't have, even have a lot of rema. He didn't have it. 
my god but i saw a presence i saw miracles i saw transformation i saw people who should not be in that crusade ground you will know he brought them there and i said this is what i want how could i do ministry and be lying to people and begging people i don't think i'm as smart as people require for ministry i don't think i'm as intelligent as people require for ministry so i ran to him cover my shame cover my shame i may not have the opportunity to have been born by a billionaire i didn't have the privilege that society demands but cover my shame lord i admit that i'm weak and the holy spirit said hold my hand let's go let me tell you it was a vision this is where this ministry was birthed by sunday koinonia will be seven uh, seven anniversary of koinonia but let me tell you this i remember i was standing in that vision i was standing and i saw a whole generation of people they were crying it was fear that took me there to that building and i stood i was watching i could not see the end of the people and i said what is this and then some of them were murmuring and they were saying there's no food and there's no water and then i said who is the cause and all of them were pointing to me and said you are the reason why we do not have food and water and i said kai i have to go out and rescue this generation but i was afraid because there were wicked men outside waiting for me all of a sudden i took a bold step as soon as i opened the door i saw a giant man waiting and he said hold my hands let's go and that's how we started jumping building after building i remember one time I, he jumped a building and was waiting and smiling waiting for me to come and i said if the secret is holding your hands then may my hand remain with you forever when that was happening you were not there but you were in the loins of prophecy please i i i don't know how to beg you don't ignore what the holy spirit can do in your life this power and these miracles you see is not just chasing around and saying lay hands on me god is not a fool walk with him and watch him surprise you walk with him i remember those nights when i'll just find a corner and just be praying individually you know when i see young ministers now and this our appetite to be known appetite to be seen i just nod my head and i say these gentlemen have missed it little power they want to be recognized everywhere they want to be known invite me for meeting call me apostle don't call me brother it's nonsense when his power smells you even to the father's part they said they shall call you you won't call yourself they shall call you ministers of our god there will be an evidence of his hand upon your life i remember the first notable miracle that happened of a gentleman then phones just came out and they were making calls somebody whose spine was fractured remember that miracle the guy's spine was broken into pieces completely and all of a sudden it was with that call it was in the night i was going to browse and then pray and all of a sudden i called that gentleman with a bracelet confirmed here and i think then it was um the other place there and all of a sudden with just one single prayer brothers and sisters that gentleman removed that thing and ran to his mother the only thing i had was jesus the next day the way you gather for funeral that's how they gathered in that house the father had the boy was healed they said who did this they said it's one brother joshua not apostle all these showmanship people move around today they don't pray they don't fast no mentorship they don't listen to anybody they just brag around saying i saw a vision i had a dream i saw a ministry sit down and walk with him don't ignore him and look for fame you would die young you are brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark you are brooding over all my darkness, you are causing light to shine from darkness. I will never forget one day when I, I spoke to the Holy Spirit about my financial issues, and He said, Forget about that. A time will come 
when god visits you he visits you completely there are times he says forget just you are working leave the issue of finances let me work on you otherwise the finance thing would kill you there are people where you start with god there is there should not be mention of power in your dealings with god you will see god flogging an aspect you can come to church we teach about something else when you are done the holy spirit will say save that book we'll talk about it next year let's go back to what we are discussing and you will see him talking about something that has no business with the subject matter allow him to work on you jesus jesus when he's done with you and he brings beauty and glory out of your life you will look at yourself and you will be afraid you say lord is this what you planned look at a poor village girl like me look at a poor village boy like me and he says that's exactly what i want to do to show that there is this treasure in earthen vessels to show that i can take the weak things oh god i'm a poor girl from kaduna state somewhere lord i'm an illiterate somewhere in the south he says don't worry hold my hands don't al allow the proud system of the world that think they are the alpha and the omega of growth and rising work with me do you know we have ignored the holy spirit so much where you talk about him like this people just look at it from the lens of intellectualism i'm not against that and they just look wow impressive sermon he's brooding over all your darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness you are brooding you are over every darkness. You are causing, you are causing light. light to shine from darkness. There are people who were looking for money when we were seeking his presence. Till today they have not found it. Till today. They would never focus on him because of money. There are people who could not settle down. They were so obsessed about ministry and briefcases and PA and men and women following their ministry regalia and would not settle down to seek his presence. Till today, till tomorrow, they are still suffering. Some of them are not even in the faith again. Please hear me, Koinonia. Let's settle down with the Holy Spirit. Let not just because you are a leader, not just because you are a worker, settle down with the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, I'm not in a rush with you. Do with me whatever Jesus would have done with me and you watch what you will become. The Holy Spirit will turn your life around, turn your wilderness. You will look at yourself one day and say, is this me? Lord, what is this that you have done? When Gentiles begin to come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising do you know because of the way the lord began to lift me and because of the way the lord began to lift this ministry i prayed a prayer i said lord i want to ask for a favor from you please do not show me the full impact that i'm making in the lives of people don't show me how far i have risen in the eyes of people just show me a token so that pride and self-centeredness will not destroy me let me just know i'm changing lives but don't show me how far my reach has gone and god answered that prayer it's still my prayer till tomorrow because i don't want anything to distract me let me not hear that there are 12 millionaires in america who listen to my messages every day and then you now say wow 12 millionaires in america that means i'm becoming a big man uh -uh. so god helps you by concealing the extent of your impact you are changing lives all over but you never know how far because he wants you to continue is god speaking to us why have we lived our lives without him let me just talk on three things thank you thank you doctor very quickly before we pray three ways the holy spirit works with believers three ways number one the first ministry of the Holy Spirit in working with a believer is supplying divine direction. Divine direction, guidance. Guidance and direction. Guidance and direction. Let me show you something that I found while I was studying. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 22. Powerful scripture. Exodus chapter 23. Exodus 23 23 
he said but my angel shall go before thee and bring ye into all of these people and i will cut them off my angel will go before thee and bring thee this was this you see the the people of old did not have a system of working with the holy spirit corporately and so based on their understanding the lord taught them every time he would say he was sending his angel to represent his presence are we together he says my angel shall go before thee not that you go and then he follows you before thee and he shall bring you to different regions the Hamorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Canaanites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. I'm giving you victory, but that victory will be through divine direction. We will go step by step, guidance by guidance, place by place. Notice how God led people in scripture. He took them from one place, they would conquer this land, then they would go to this land. Many lives, many lives. And many destinies today have been scattered into pieces because people guess their way. The Bible said there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, a preacher, a businessman, a father, a mother. It says, but the end thereof are the ways of death. My angel will go before you and guide you. Moses said, do not let, we will not leave this place if your presence will not go with us. He says, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Notice, every time his angel, his presence, his angel, his presence. And when he leads them, they return with great and strange testimonies. Many of us are here to explore the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Let me teach you one big secret with the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Never take a step until you are sure he's the one leading you this our world of hurry for everything i just I, I just feel that my job is in uk you go to uk and live like a thief there whereas god has destined for you that is in a quiet bomb where you are he will lift you but because he could not direct you there are many people who want to do ministry and they think it's by running to america by running to wherever or running to abuja running to different places divine direction when god directs you it was never my intention to still be in zaria at this time no as wonderful as it is if it were on my own i would prefer to be somewhere maybe in one of the cities around the world but divine direction divine direction when you read genesis chapter 26 the bible says and isaac sowed in that land i'm sure that isaac wanted to go somewhere to run for the famine and god said no 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 for others they can go but for you the secret to your prosperity is hidden in that divine direction we do not respect his leadership he says the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want i shall not want the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want there are many of our families that are in pain today because we ignore the leadership of the holy spirit very powerful isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 isaiah chapter 30 let's hurry up quickly isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 popular scripture about the leadership of the spirit in the life of a believer isaiah 30 okay it says and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying read with me everyone this is the way walk ye in it when ye turn to the right and when you turn to the left that god will guide you on your way going he said this path looks good but this is not for you he said lord but other believers are following it he said that's it's all right but for you this is the path wait on me sometimes he can say mark time and remain in one place lord but others are going he says don't worry you are still moving you don't move because your legs are moving you move because my word is moving you so even when you think you are standing in one place it says you are moving because when you turn you see that you have gotten there you shall hear a voice from behind you hear me people of god you shall hear a voice from behind you saying this is the way oh you have a job but let him lead you let him guide you when god leads you he defends you where he has led you 
that there are many preachers today in regions that god did not send them and they are struggling as if they are not anointed there is a place prepared for you only god guides you there when he sends you to your prepared place everything follows you favor follows you his mercy follows you ease follows you difficulty can be a proof among other factors that there is something you are ignoring about the leadership of the holy spirit in this kingdom we excel through divine direction not just efforts the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul he guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil why because your rod and your staff they comfort me stop living your life without the guidance of the holy spirit you can't live your life and be guided by movies guided by all kinds of godless books guided by individual opinions guided by cultural opinions it's time to return back and say holy spirit guide me if you are not in this let me get out three days before koinonia will start this 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 aspect of the ministry's activities three days i went back for a retreat to reconfirm from god lord are you still the one or is my ambition if god ever said i'm not the one that's it it's just to apologize i'm sorry i thought i had god but he's not the one never be ashamed to retreat from whatever you are doing when you realize god is not in it it sometimes is this our pride that keeps us in trouble when you find out that oh i used to think god was in this but now i'm realizing from growth that god was not we still calm down and say how will people really know don't put yourself in trouble everybody say divine direction let me just give you one quick secret on how you see you must understand the voice of god this is generally speaking you must understand how god speaks i just need to give you one one direction just one scripture that i found that really blessed me john chapter 10 verse 35 the voice of god must always agree with his written word and must always agree with his character of operation remember the bible says the kingdom of god is in three things righteousness peace and joy the moment these three forces coexist the kingdom of god is within that environment and here's what the bible says it says if he called them gods unto whom the word of god came and the scripture cannot be broken your experience will not break scripture it says the word of god came to them and the scripture cannot be broken just because a word came to them the word that came to you and the word that is written must agree the word of god came to them by revelation but the scripture can still not be broken because the word of god came so the speakings of god will always be consistent with his written word and will be consistent with his character because there are times that what god is speaking about you may not find a direct scripture for it but the character of how, how god operates must be consistent are we together most people hear every kind of nonsense from the pit of hell and they say yes lord from the beginning of the voice to the end of it it contradicts everything god please don't let anybody threaten you with any prophetic word and anything that is not consistent with the written word of god are we together yes if you look at me now and prophesy to me and say apostle I saw you having an accident tomorrow I keep quiet and hear you if you stop there you didn't hear God because the Spirit of God will never stop there if it is it may be true that you saw an attack but then continue it to prove that it is God I saw an accident but I am speaking by the power of God's word to stop it but I saw an accident and that's it no sir no sir no sir 
I saw that your wife is a witch. Congratulations. I have continue. Let me hear. That's it. That's all. Just leave her. No, sir. That's not God. God does not speak like that. If you claim to be a man of God and your wife is a witch, you are foolish. You are not anointed. It means you are not even a man of God. Because your ministry should be demonstrated day and then. The validity of your anointing should be proven there. Let's be careful. We have ignored scripture. And so all kinds of words. You see people just fighting one another in the name of dull visions that are not consistent with the word of God. The devil uses the faces of people. When God wants to lift you, he will now try to use a face of a man of God or somebody you respect. And come to you and press you. And you get up in ignorance. And say, ah, you do not know that Satan can masquerade as an angel of light. The Bible already gave you that information. I must balance this issue of the voice of God because Satan has mastered the art of deceiving a generation that is not sound in scripture. We are so passionate about the prophetic, which is important, but we must balance it. Especially for we who are men of God. There is always that drive to give people word and we communicate words that are not consistent. There are things I've seen about people I know that is an attack from Satan. But I also know by the power of the word that revealing that thing to them will not edify them. It will destroy their faith. So I withhold that prophecy and rather intercede for them. Because there is a spiritual level they must mature in for that prophetic word to benefit them. God sends the word. Your maturity guided how it was delivered. Say the voice of God. Please, let's be careful. I'm not teaching you to hate the prophetic. I'm not teaching you to be cynical. I'm not teaching you to see a man of God making mistakes in delivering the prophetic and then getting angry at them. But please, let's be careful. Because some of us have already been swayed by the deception of Satan. We get up and we hate everybody. We hate every man of God, every woman of God because of all kinds of false visions fabricated from the pit of hell. He said, even if an angel brings another gospel, that means Satan can masquerade as an angel of light. It's one of the greatest reasons why men of God should pray before coming on the stage. I'm not praying when I come on stage for miracles to happen. With all humility, I will lay hands on a goat and it will come and stand here and the goat is bleaking and you see people falling under the anointing. You will think it's charm. That's anointing. But the accuracy of delivery is why we pray that oh god superimpose my weaknesses and my humanity so that your word will pass through all my limitations and still become spirit and life to your people that's why we pray we don't just pray for miracles and signs and wonders to happen the anointing is there to make it happen are we learning something the voice of god must never come um must never relegates the written word of God in your life the second way that the Holy Spirit functions in the life of a believer is by giving to us divine strategies everybody say divine strategies say it again divine strategies we win in this kingdom through mysteries but the mysteries are a revelation of a strategy Go and read it when you go home. Joshua chapter 6 and verse 1 to, I think, 21 or thereabout. Verse 1 to 21. 21 verses. Talks about how Jericho was destroyed. It was not just destroyed because God was powerful. It was destroyed to a divine strategy. Nowhere in the Bible was that strategy used again. Are we together? When you stand before the challenges as a ministry... I remember when this ministry was starting, I went to God and I cried to him. I said, Lord, what? There is a general financial strategy. But what is the financial strategy for this ministry that will keep us pressure free and not allow us manipulate anybody? And here it came. It was revealed. Another ministry may try it and it may never work for them. There are ministries if you sell free materials. I mean, if you give free materials like your sermon and the rest, there may not be any other avenue for revenue. There are people who do that just because they want to copy and their finances go down and they suffer for nothing. You must receive a divine strategy. Lord, in this marriage, what is the strategy for training our children? In this marriage, what is the strategy for living in peace? 
you can get the general communication but you must stay with God to receive a unique strategy Lord in this ministry what is the strategy for ensuring efficiency say divine strategies that's the Holy Spirit for you so he leads you divine guidance and direction number two he gives you ideas strategies when you stand before any mountain let me give you an advice like the mountains that stand before you tonight don't be afraid there is a strategy god has given us the strategy for tonight is that true god decided to anoint this oil and say with this oil coming on everybody i will work wonders and strange results it's a strategy it's a strategy so he gave us a strategy to fast and wait upon him for seven days and then round up with this mystery this oil was in my room all through the night soaking in the presence and the glory of god it's a strategy are we together let me tell you one of the ways i prayed on this it was in a, in a big it wasn't like this i literally opened it and i was confessing god's word and speaking and laying hands you will think the oil cannot hear I've, I've taught you that this is a living thing this is ordinary oil but when the anointing comes the same word i'm speaking to you is the same word receiving it is just like someone speaking to you directly it's more than just oil touching your head you will see what it will do in your life <laughs> hallelujah mm. jesus spoke to water and asked the people to fetch it and go and they were going and the water had what jesus said and it started changing to wine jesus jesus spoke to two fish and five loaves they had him and he commanded them to multiply and told the people go and start serving when they started everything was multiplying there were 12 baskets the third way the holy spirit ministers to the saints is by granting access to power access to the anointing just talk about this briefly and then we'll pray so we've spoken briefly about divine guidance and direction please those outside i know i know you're writing make sure you participate no matter how far just find a corner if you cannot write at least listen divine direction the lord is my shepherd the angel of the lord going before you number two strategies revealing to you mountains fall not because of the effort that is put but the strategy that is applied every military person will tell you that the difference between um being victorious or being victims in a war is the strategy that is employed and then number three access to power supernatural power acts chapter 1 verse 8 but ye koinonia but ye joshua selman shall receive power kabala kotia power is the word dunamis you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and it shall make you witnesses unto me both in jerusalem in judea samaria and to the utmost part of the earth peter was speaking in the house of cornelius in chapter 10 and in verse 38 of acts chapter 10 verse 38 it says how god listen now how god anointed jesus of nazareth the word born on earth from nazareth but still had to be anointed to be efficient just quoting scripture does not bring you result the word must be anointed to profit you how god anointed the word with the holy ghost and with power and he went about the word see listen the written word becomes the sent word when it is anointed it is the anointing that turns the written word to a sent word you want to write that down that the written word becomes the sent word when the anointing comes upon it how god anointed jesus i understand how god anointed paul i understand how god anointed peter but god anointed jesus the word until then he was the son of the carpenter but the anointing turned him to the christ a saint one and the bible says he went about doing good for us to understand this we must go to genesis chapter one and see the things god say are good he calls creation good he calls 
plants coming out of a barren ground good so there are things that are do you know the bible says you went about doing good comma and then healing all day that were oppressed so it's good to heal is god is good to produce miracles signs and wonders but there are other needs in men's lives their finances the assault of wickedness in their lives the struggles that the devil tries to put them under the yokes of bondage the bible calls it good you do that with the anointing listen you never bless men just because you are kind it takes the anointing to do good lord just bless me so that i can help people pay their rent you see my heart your desire is not enough brothers and sisters there is an anointing that empowers you are we together now then you can prosper and do good doing good is warfare because satan will fight it lord i want to get first class so that my getting first class will give me an opportunity and then i will rise and glorify you that glorify you is what satan had every other thing is jargon he had glorify you and he says fight him in his final exams cripple him with sickness let something bring him down it takes power to subdue the wicked forces that trap down the lives of men when members come one week two weeks one month two months they give you two months of their lives and there is nothing to change they will not come again let me tell you don't even waste your time to think they will be sympathetic you look at them and say ah i didn't see you in church again say pastor i'm busy say lie there's nobody that is busy people are looking for solutions if there is no solution they will give excuse then one day they'll say please don't talk to me again i'm an adult i can choose to come to your your church or not that means they are telling you i'm tired I made up my mind that i will never be a powerless man of god when you are a powerless man of god you are not only bad you are wicked because you will be like that fig tree that attracted men jesus himself fell into the temptation of that fig tree he ran and came there and stood where is the fruit and the tree said sorry he says come and jesus cursed it in anger and said no fruit will come out of you again tonight we need power brothers and sisters we live in a wicked world there are some of you here in your whole family you are the first that will rise it takes power to rise there are families that when you rise an alert is sent to the realm of the spirit and there are controlling powers that for decades have sat upon the destinies of men they dare not hear that you want to rise he's going abroad and you see an uncle just come in and say i heard that you are going to london say by the grace of god uncle say congratulations you shake his hand and they just call you somewhere you wake up the next day one leg cannot walk the other day your ears cannot hear well are we together by the friday your passport is missing powers he said through the greatness of thy power every village including my own has witches and wizards they know i'm on earth it's not that they love to leave me to do ministry power power kabbalah kotaya he said behold i give you power exousia power step into my shoes step into my office listen i'm trusting god that after tonight you will no longer be at the mercy of principalities and powers there are some of you who cannot go to the village the last time you went what happened to you even you you were scared but now you go to the village and overnight in three hours you hear that things have you were not praying no you carried something mysterious to that village two weeks after your arrival you see five buildings springing up a development that the devil has refused anybody that organizes crusade in your village never finishes after two days he's sleeping and he dies come on now the devil deceives you listen i have studied satan carefully because i didn't like the way i was afraid of him my fear of satan was getting too bad and i said no i can't be afraid of satan like this i need to settle down and study him one of the ways you conquer fear is to study what gives you the fear and look at it and say what is in this thing really what is in it what is in satan that threatens people i found out the strength of satan is ignorance 
satan works with information he plants that seed to you so a spirit you are sleeping in your house and you hear something on your zing that's satan now he knows and watch what he begins to do he used that experience to plant pictures in your mind what could be there hi an arm robber is there no not an arm robber the other day that's how my grandfather said anytime you hear that sound barrenness is inevitable any and listen he's working with your mind you are you are having faith in that thing the moment your faith is there because whoever believes there shall be a performance it doesn't matter what you believe you hear that thing in your zinc and get up he that cometh from above is above all jacos kata prakata ziata let me tell you the truth the devil will go back there are demons when they send them to people they disobey say no 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 they disobey the implication the risk involved in that espionage is too risky devilish harbor is somewhere they carry your name because a brother say wants to marry you and you say no then he carries your name to a harbor list and the man has the effrontery to call your name let him try it after tonight listen listen i'm not motivating you i'm demystifying satan this fear of satan is why many of us never rise i cast out devils almost every day and i sleep sound Go and ask them and nothing shall by any means whatever i do against god has nothing to do with satan this is between me and god the law is nothing shall by any means so that you don't just say i was angry i shouted at my wife today hey, hey, hey. satan is coming you are joking my shouting at my wife is god i owe an apology as for you the casting remains so regardless of the condition nothing shall by any means listen to me i'm preaching to you don't let satan deceive you no sir god is not like that we have misrepresented him and it has given access access for the devil jesus finished whipping people and flogging people in the temple and went straight for a crusade and casted out all kinds of devils do you believe what i'm sharing with you the anointing it is the anointing that brings favor it is the anointing that brings increase there are some of us anything they give you remains like that forever there is no potential of growth i have seen people in my life listen i have seen people in my life that have been surprised you see them 10 years ago you see them 10 years later and ichabod the glory has the, they are still the same way same house same room same financial level I say ah luther continua victoria is scattered that's a cost never say that thing the bible said the path of the just it takes power to keep shining in this wicked economy that we live in someone just sees you and say uh -uh, you are the last born in a family of 12. what audacity do you have to say you will feed us there are families where is the women that feed the men do you know that no matter how hard working you rise up as a man something must happen to crash you shout no way okay. there are families the men never reach 50 they must die and leave the children for the innocent women you see women old women in a place where are the men some of you they've already told you that the moment you are 25 there is a stranger that comes to you there is a secret nonsense marriage in fact there are some of you you did all kinds of occultic things by your parents you still have rings and the rest and now you are born again and you are now asking those demons have refused to go there is something you can engage in let me tell you that will shatter that yoke into pieces when i discovered who satan really was i stopped wasting my time i said so this is what has made me afraid you are not even the worst of all spirits come on now satan's assignment is to magnify himself in our lives he loves it when he's magnified out of proportion now don't get me wrong 
those who claim satan is cheap and you just give away i hope that while you are claiming that you have the requisite arsenals to ignore satan just as a result of pride and say i can just quote a scripture he will eat you up and spit you out don't get me wrong satan deserves that honor for being a cunning serpent for many years it is through knowledge that the just is delivered not through bold face for nothing are we together listen nothing changes in your life until the anointing comes you have to believe this hmm. time will never change anything in your life time will never change anything in your family time will never change anything in your marriage time will never change anything in your body when god wants to help you he introduces the anointing the holy spirit the custodian the conveyor of the anointing are we together in the bible when men encounter the anointing it spelled a change of story in their lives it was very clear that when the anointing came upon them it was time ordinary people in the bible aaron and his sons moses joshua down the line when the anointing came upon them they changed in strange and mysterious way someone is changing tonight someone outside is changing tonight you you may be among the crowds hear me some of you are even at the overflow there you are just standing and watching and saying god could you be talking about me yes sir yes ma he's talking about you don't mind what they have said about you let the anointing come on you and you will watch your life brothers and sisters change in a way and manner that will surprise you i have seen what this anointing can do to people I have seen people change in supernatural ways this anointing can translate to the power to get wealth that in two weeks two weeks 14 days a man's life can change he will be like god what is this what is this a gentleman shared with me one of one of my boys shared with me um a, a story very very touching uh, testimony the mother had been following this and i think it was just yesterday night or so the mother got an alert from somebody of over 300 and something thousand sent to her yesterday i don't know if she testified here or it was right i said they should come and testify think about that it takes power you have been tolerating a lot of nonsense in your life tonight you have to be angry and say lord i'm tired of getting angry with satan i need the anointing i need the grace what you are receiving tonight is impartation impartation is a transference of possibilities impartation is not the rubbing of oil on your head you can carry ordinary oil that you can use to fry egg or or cook rice and just say love blah, 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 just and rub on your head and you just rub something to make your skin moist it doesn't produce it, it, oil is not a charm this jar of oil you see will do you no good until it is anointed so it's not just because there is a jar of oil are we together now the jar will not just do you good just because it is anointed many people idolize oil idolize it. those things in themselves don't give you any power it takes power to come upon them by a vessel that is anointed to make it anointed tonight brothers and sisters i agree with god for you that your life will change Tonight, I agree with God that there will be expansions and explosions. What will this anointing do to you tonight? Or do for you tonight? Number one, this anointing that is coming upon you tonight will bring you into a dimension of strange favor. Write it down. You need to know what the anointing will do because you've been receiving all kinds of anointings. But what was spoken into the oil, you have to believe it. God has given us samples of breakthroughs in the course of these seven days. Favor is real. Favor can happen to anybody. Anybody. Strangers can arise to favor you. Yes, sir. You can have money and not have favor. That you have money does not mean you have favor. Favor is not about money coming. Favor is about men coming and whatever they come with. That includes money but not left for money alone if you have money and you don't have men coming to your life you don't have favor 
favor is known by the strange coming of men to come and meet your need not to come and inconvenience you the second thing that this this anointing this impartation that is coming upon you is a strange grace for multiplication it's called the mim shak anointing please believe it there is a grace that can come on a man's business upon his career upon his ministry and take you right from wherever village you are and give you a voice it gives whatever you are doing wings in the spirit it's true can turn a musician's life around can turn a businessman's life around can turn a preacher's life around you are there seated and god do you know I don't know how many times I've had these testimonies. Some of you listening know it's true. How many times angels appear before people in meetings and transfer koinonia messages and leave. They come as human beings. A service is going on. Or after a service, give strategic people messages and then just walk away and go. Angels don't just act as if they are foolish. They act in response to what the Holy Spirit tells them. The anointing is the director of how and why angels function. Understand this. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Listen. The third thing this anointing will give you is unusual influence. Please believe it. Influence is not something you bully people to get. Influence is not an issue of age. Influence is not even an issue of I've traveled abroad. There is an oil. There is a grace. He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, even God, thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. There is an anointing that can give a man influence. There is a strange grace that can give you influence among your contemporaries. You are the last born, but God gives you a voice. Listen, you know, one man of God was talking to me one time and said, Apostle, how come it looks like in your ministry you never lack excellent hands? And I tell him, you can't look for those people by putting CV. There is an anointing that draws people. That draws a kind of people. You will find the best of the best of everything in this ministry. It's not pride. I'm telling you the secret today. It's not just some searching around the internet to say you are good, come. No, there is an anointing that brings them. When that anointing comes upon you, God can bring just five people to your life that will give you what 10,000 people cannot give. It's not always about quantity. It's about quality. God will give you two friends that will be equivalent to 90 friends in your life. The grace for influence. I have seen how men of God have ignored this grace. And they have tried to bully men of God. They have tried to bully others. They have tried to usurp on young people. You are my son. You are my daughter by force. You are my this just because they are hoping they will use the people to climb. It's not about all those things. It's not about being mean. You see me greet people here. After service, I'm hugging the children. Because this influence and honor is an anointing. It's not by doing bold face and acting. Look, I, I don't play child's play. All that one is, 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 is complex. When that honor is on you, people will look at you and not know the reason why people are strangely loyal to you. The anointing brings loyalty in a strange way. That's why God must make sure you walk with him so you don't take advantage of people. Listen, people don't just become loyal to a man just because. No, no, no. It's not about giving people money. You can give somebody money who will insult you tomorrow. Loyalty is not just by faking. It's not even by wearing good clothes. You can wear anything you want to wear. There is an anointing. Politicians know this. That's why they go to Habalis and collect charm and find out that it's like a whole territory becomes loyal. There are great leaders who oppress people.
pastors who oppress church workers they are looking for loyalty you are praying for somebody you hear somebody say ah a jimmy is praying for me no i'm the only one you i'm the boss in this place that's insecurity this grace for influence can sit upon your life and turn you into a wonder i have seen what people has have done to this young man talking to you i've had to beg people to cut down on certain things so that people don't persecute me and say human beings are worshiping me influence influence it's not by manipulation there is an anointing that brings for influence and it's with all humility i say it you don't go around any part of this city and see one single poster one single handbill not for anything yet there are people there sitting on the fence look at the people that have come sitting on the fence five overflows there about seated everywhere over 47 nations of the world brothers and sisters it takes an anointing it's not just grammar i'm not the smartest preacher i'm not the deepest preacher in terms of revelation i pray for you that this grace will come upon your life and change you in a way that will surprise you hallelujah i travel all the time with the head of department of media and um, there's it's always a team of uh, from worship team media and then the protocol and he asked me a question i think it was early this year he said why don't you allow that the photos you have snapped or the encounters with some of the big people in this country why don't you allow let's put it on facebook you know ah this guy snapped with this this guy snapped with this one and i told him i said it's not necessary it's not necessary that you see me snapping with um for Lauren Shaw, like I was snapping with this person and he said, oh, you mean this guy? He has met the vice president. He has met this. All those things are human ways of trying to get this anointing. If this thing is on you, bar, it's on you, period. If it's not on you, it's not there. It's as simple as that. It's not about all this manipulation. And so you go and borrow a Jeep and sit down and say, great is thy faithfulness. It's not your car. You are looking for respect. No or you go and steal the picture of a crowd i'm not i'm not being sarcastic please don't get me wrong and say well there is a revival 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 and you carry another man's crowd and put and put pictures of somebody holding crutches whereas is why fake what can be real in your life there is a grace for influence lucifer carried it the anointed cherub that covereth he can cover a territory with his ideologies i have seen people on this earth with that anointing i have seen business people with that anointing i have seen families with that anointing hill song that's the anointing walking there you see those young boys just strumming their guitar yet you don't know what takes them all over the world there are people carrying that grace joyce mayer you listen to her and you are sleeping yet you cannot know why her book will go even to your village you go to your village and see somebody reading the book and you are wondering and say my cassette my my what they call it my my cd i waxed an album i'm just a few kilometers to my village it refused to enter there there is an anointing meme shark the strange grace that's what happens to the messages that's what happens to what god is doing in this ministry do you believe that this can come upon you yes sir can come upon you number what now the fourth anointing that i believe and i trust god i trust god with all my heart that you will receive is an anointing for strange signs and wonders strange signs and not just signs and wonders strange signs and wonders that through your own hands the things that god will do to you will begin to surprise you we just started the the public relations department this year and i remember one time meeting with the leaders and they were telling me of the dramatic miracles that are happening while they pray for people on phone now these gentlemen love god and they are filled with the holy spirit but probably they did not it, they did not anticipate that you can casually just pray there is an anointing that can come on a rod 
a rod, ordinary rod, and it will part the Red Sea. There is a grace for signs and wonders that somebody comes to you and says, Sister, I hear you attend Koinonia. I cannot meet Apostle, but I hear you attend Koinonia. And you say, what is it? He may be busy, but let me pray. He has prayed for us. That grace is working. Say, you? Say, let's just pray. And you say, Father, I lift up my voice to you concerning this woman. I hear that supernaturally, they need 500,000 by 10 o'clock tomorrow. I agree with you. And by 1 a.m., the woman gets an alert, 500,000 dot. She will run to you and say, woman of God, what did you even say? She won't call you sister again. It takes a woman of God to produce that miracle. That you can go back home and say, I came back from an impartation in Koinonia. And your father said, what, does, what good does that do to us? Go and see all the letters that are piled in the table there. Number one, they have said your mother is dying. Number two, they have said your other sister, nothing is wrong. Number three, they have said your sister is about to leave her marriage next week because everything is in shambles. And you say, can you just give me a few hours? You carry those letters. And you know that these hands are an extension of the hands of Jesus. They are not just instruments to eat because something came upon it. And you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. I agree with you. And all of a sudden, by the next day, that man is sleeping and an angel of the Lord appears. Why are you doing this to my daughter? Behave yourself. It is because of this your heaven is not closing. And she wakes up in the morning and the guy is there kneeling down. He said, let's, let's make this work. Let's make this marriage work. Are we together? Some of you will take this anointing back to your churches and God will use it to help your various pastors. You know that they are sincere. Some of them love God and they are crying for these dimensions. But how to access it is what is not there. And God says, can you help that man of God? He loves God. But the reason why the church is going down is because there is no supply of this dimension. Signs and wonders. Supernatural signs and wonders. Supernatural signs and wonders. The last thing that I'm going to pray for is grace for a dimension of kingdom wealth and prosperity that will surprise you. If you don't believe it, you can write the other four and leave this one. It's unto you according to your faith. I have told you, I am very vocal. I love the Lord by the grace of God and with all humility. My passion for God and for the things of the Spirit has been vetted by the body of Christ. And so when I teach about finances and I talk about this, it's not in any way to promote carnality. But I will never sit down knowing the benefit of kingdom wealth and prosperity to the quality of your life, to your children, to your family and kingdom advance and deny that dimension finding expression. It's a grace that is upon my life. It's a grace that is upon this ministry and it's a grace that must speak in your life. I think his promise that says it so beautifully that entering into a level of wealth and abundance will reduce your prayer points and increase your prayer life that your prayer's time will be spent worshiping god not saying oh god this rent oh god tea oh god there is no sugar and you find out that you waste six hours crying needless cries oh 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 oh, oh. for wealth this grace for wealth if you don't believe that there is such an anointing called the power to prosper i've taught you that there are three dimensions of wealth there is transactional wealth wealth that comes by selling your value whether your education whether uh, an idea whatever it is that you take there is transformational wealth 
wealth that is given on account of a perception of your impact in the lives of people but the third dimension is called sovereign wealth wealth by the finger of god by the finger of god all of them are important but brothers and sisters for some of us the emergencies in our lives require god showing up like the man of war that he is we are going to sing this song one more time and i want you to open your spirit truly because as this impartation happens as this oil comes upon you to round up these seven days we are going to sing the song and then we'll pray please i want you to be tired of where you are in life be tired of where your family is hey, hey. Oh. in this kingdom that we understand the systems of the kingdom and we engage them through knowledge and change not a few people command complete transformation complete transformation hallelujah let's pray father say it again father in the name of Jesus Tonight, I declare that I'm tired of my current level. I'm tired of where I am. I'm tired of where my family has been kept. Tonight, by your anointing, lift me to a new dimension. Open your mouth and begin to pray. New dimension in ministry. New dimension spiritually new dimension in finances pray oh, lift your voice and pray
Hallelujah. Isaiah 10 27. And it shall come to pass in that day. Tonight is that day. And it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke the yoke of delay the yoke of retrogression the yoke of begging as a generation that yoke shall be taken from off your shoulder sure. he said and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing say in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, every cause, every, every yoke, every, every spell, every, spell every, enchantment every enchantment over my life, over my, life, over my, family, over my family, I declare, I declare that, by the anointing, that by the anointing, it is broken forever. It is broken forever. Lift your voice and pray. of Christ I declare to principalities to powers to familiar spirits that tonight I have been called out of every tribe every covenant every enchantment the sins of my fathers will no longer work in my life I exempt myself Lift your voice and pray. Every covenant, every enchantment. Please pray, pray. Pray. In Paramado, in Paragada, in the Democosa, in Totopete, the Macabano, in Rabado, in Palabado, Cata, in the Palabado, in Tapalabada, Berica, Toka, Palatea, in Topalate, in Pata, in Paragate, Talabacosa, in Palabada, in the Macabara, in Posso. Petita, Erika Patota, Ipam Patata, Hallelujah. We are praying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every fail, every fail that has covered my glory, that has covered my glory. Every fail, every fail that has hijacked my honor, that has hijacked my In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I tear that fail to pieces. Lift your voice and pray. Cover your glory. He says, Arise, shine. Arise, shine. Arise, shine. Arise, shine. Shine. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak. 
I speak to every area of my life. To every area of my life. My spiritual life. My spiritual life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My body. My body. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My finances. My finances. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Family life. Family life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My career. My career. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. By the anointing. By, by the, the anointing. anointing rise to destiny rise lift to your destiny. voice and begin to pray every aspect of my life rise to your place in destiny hear the word of the lord Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. Ay, ay, ay. There's fire burning in this place. Listen, the Bible says, listen carefully. It says, Saul, the son of Kish. Kish lost his donkey. It left him. It was his means of livelihood. And it left. As soon as they encountered a man with an anointing, the donkey started going back home. Are you ready to call back things that have left you? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every relationship. Every relationship. Every opportunity. Every opportunity. Every unction. Every unction. Every access. Every access. That left my life. That left my life. By the anointing. By the anointing. I call you back. I call you. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Business opportunities, educational opportunities. I call you back. I call you back. I call you back. I call you back. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, favor, favor. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. I open up my life. I open up my life to your influence. To your influence. Lift your voice and pray. Favor. Favor is not just a thing. Favor is a spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to be guiding on how this oil will be distributed and I'll give us instructions. But in the next two minutes, please. The specific issues that must live your life now not tomorrow listen now if you don't have faith for it now pray on something else are we together now there are things in the bible that say as they went but there are things that the bible say immediately listen release your faith i'm not a fool release your faith don't just sit down and say can god make a wilderness overnight Abba, we're talking of god here If it's time for you to get pregnant as a wife, don't just look and say, I've not met with my husband. No. You get pregnant at the instance of the word of God. You are sick in your body. There is a load of challenge on you. There are demons oppressing you. There's all kinds of fire on your mountain. 
it's time for you to have a testimony open your mouth in one minute and tell the lord the things that must live your life Every one of them. Every one of Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please listen. Please listen. This is this is the crescendo of this seven days prayer. Many of you, what God is about to do in your life now, it will surprise you, ba? truly speaking, in a way that will make you respect God in a fresh dimension. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, there are so many people, and this is what will happen. Um, I'm going to appoint a few people now. In this auditorium, there may be just three of them. And then, overflow one overflow two overflow three everything from the the last place of the fence of cgc right there is overflow four and then those standing at the back of overflow three just at the back of overflow three that's overflow five are we together now so this is the main auditorium so you understand what i'm saying overflow one all the people here overflow two right from wherever till the end of cgc fence overflow three is the main um the 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 space outside there overflow four is everything from the end of cgc's fence to wherever people are now and then overflow five are those who are standing across the corner right to the other streets there that's that's the overflow this is what we are going to do please make sure that this oil comes upon you even if you have a child even if the child is sleeping just touch the child you don't have to fetch the oil and try to idolize it it's not about idolatry just a touch you can take one if you like put on your head and did you bring all those documents we are going to pray just leave them don't worry leave them there we are going to deal with them please be patient with me and let god surprise you tonight are we together now except it is not god that has instituted what we are doing some of you you will not even be able to share the testimonies you will watch it will be people will ask you which charm did you hold what happened to you there are some of you in ministry that will go back after tonight you will you will stand like this and say so this is how god works this thing is not trial and error god is a god of systems are we together now so i want you to agree with me as we pray please no distraction forget about this is not husband and wife now this is you standing between you and god this is not neighbor we came brothers and sisters leave anyone you came with this is your destiny with god now is not the time to laugh and pinch around like the devil who want to cheat many people now it's at this time where he told elijah if you can see he was looking but he said if you can see there are some of you as this oil comes upon you all of a sudden your eyes will be open and you will see strange supernatural things so be sensitive hallelujah be sensitive um what will happen is there are five five so we can do three three that means three bowls here we'll fill it with the oil we'll keep adding and then three outside please protocol work so that we can arrange it please i know that there are lots of people the protocol people are smart enough they have been trained everybody will receive of the oil especially for overflow four and five please our securities please help us so that we don't have any chaos everybody just be patient the oil will get to you don't just try to hold it and try to turn it in a jar all alone be patient be patient if you have a bottle of oil after service i can pray for you on it but for now 
just cooperate please let's not make the place rowdy and let there be no fighting just cooperate with any official you see within your area and in a few minutes will be done while all of that is happening the worship team will be leading us and then we are going to pray in the name of jesus christ we lift up this jar this is ordinary oil you have led me to pray over it but father i pray by the anointing of the holy spirit we are not acting you are real lord prove your power in an unusual dimension tonight in the name of jesus lord i pray for every single person upon whom this oil will come those who are online you can get any bottle of oil or anything around you and connect by faith as i'm praying is reaching you there lord we call this the oil of strange results we call this the oil of wonder we call it the oil of favor we call it the oil of influence we call it the oil of increase and expansion we call it the oil of revival let prayer lives jack back to life let the gifts of the spirit be activated let mantles come upon your people in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy spirit father strange dimensions in the name of jesus strange dimensions strange fire strange dimensions strange dimensions in the name of jesus be the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker the first partaker in the name of jesus the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus please come and hold this be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ be the first help him please the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus now pastor jimmy will be here he'll be standing here victor um the protocol please coordinate it it's going to be very fast um just bring the jars turn them now turn them turn them quickly let's just fill them and then we'll go to the respective places please let's be in an attitude of prayer what you're going to do is just follow as they direct you once they receive it they'll go down there someone hold the jars i believe there's still some more you just touch it on your head don't touch it on any document don't worry we're coming there you return back to your seat you are blasting in tongues and prophesying everything that must appear in your life are we together now thank you lord jesus lord we pray that let there be miracles right now in the name of jesus so some of you will be watching them so that the ones that are almost finished as can hold one you can stand here whoever is standing with me aaron please the rest pick it to your various places father we anoint this oil and in the name of jesus as it comes upon people let there be strange results from the main auditorium here overflow one overflow two overflow three overflow four overflow five change the stories of people in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah god bless you go ahead quickly quickly please we cry holy 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 come to yeshua shekinah is here we cry holy 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 come to yeshua shekinah is here. we cry holy holy yeah.
Shekete kata baka kata baka katuks. Reka kapa kata baka teke teke katuks. Shekete baka katuks. New dimension. New levels. New dimension. Source to victory. Source to victory. Keep praying, don't stop. Keep praying. Shaka Parakoto Sutabala. I'm moving forward. Strangely manifesting the glory of God, defying all the laws of men, defying the expectations of men, rising by the spirit, rising by the anointing, rising by the spirit. Don't be tired of praying. Something is happening to you. Something is happening to you. Prophesy over your finances. Prophesy over your health. The word of the Lord is upon you. The word of the Lord is upon you. No devil can stand this impartation. The word of the Lord is upon you. No curse, no spell, no divination, no enchantment. We are breaking out at last by the spirit of the living God. The word of the Lord is upon you. Send sent by his anointing keep praying don't be tired you're doing something to your spirit man the hand of god is upon you things are shifting in the spirit doors are opening ladders have been created preaching your expectation and your results outside pray those online use the oil you have upon your head and that of your family members and begin to pray in the spirit call for the things that be not 
don't doubt what you are doing this is how it works don't doubt what you are doing don't let the devil plant unbelief and make you think you are wasting your time no you are not the Lord will so surprise you Something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens when I met. Hallelujah. Hold on. I know that there are still, especially for those of us in the overflows, we are still making contact with the oil. Don't stop. Just continue what you are doing. But please listen to me. Please listen to me. Hallelujah. I want you to pick up any point of contact that you came with. There is a strong anointing that I sense upon me now. any point of contact your document certificate whatever it is job sack letter court case letter whatever it is he said be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known let your request i want to pray for you listen let me tell you this i have learned by the spirit if you don't have any point of contact you can use your hand your hand is the symbol of your work your hand is the symbol of your productivity i have learned that everything on earth can hear it just depends on who is speaking are we together god has not called you i know for many of us this thing looks like is some form of for many of us this looks like it is some form of nonsense others will watch and laugh and you there at your house or wherever it is you are connecting with us from around the world it's not too late if there is nothing write your challenge and lift it before god and say lord this thing is not giving me joy your certificate whatever it is there's more oil here if there's anyone in need of it please make sure you participate all the overflows i want to pray i want you to believe if you have never believed a man of god in your life please just believe this once the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall he be established he said believe in his prophets this thing you see is not a vocation it's not something a man chose for himself i want to pray for you from the depth of my spirit i want to put an anointing upon those items i don't care what it is some of you are lifting your jam sleep for your jam tomorrow some of you are lifting your certificate you've been a graduate for 10 years 20 years no job some no promotion some is a threat letter by anything a court or whatever it is i want to pray for you I just need you to believe to agree with me some of you is your business ideas some is your crashing business some whatever it is 
now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the one who gave this anointing i decree i speak over every document and every point of contact represented in the name of jesus i command speed upon that document in the name of jesus christ for every document lifted that is a threat a challenge to a family to an individual to your reputation in the name of jesus i veto that situation now i veto that situation now every document lifted that is a certificate or a means that can be exchanged for value and the devil has grounded your certificate you are all graduates in your family but there's nothing to show for from tonight in the name of jesus i give that certificate a voice in the realm of the spirit i give it a voice in the realm of the spirit I command it to bring jobs to you. I command it to bring opportunities to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For some of you, that which you are lifting is a photo of your loved ones representing the chaos in your family. In the name of Jesus may the lifter of men in a strange way lift every one of you out of any predicament out of every predicament for some of you what you are lifting is a medical report it's a threat letter from hell that you have cancer that you have hiv that you are barren your tubes are blocked that you are important as a man in the name of jesus i change that medical report now i change that medical report now there are some of you what you are lifting is your project not just your school project job project whatever project that your lifting is dependent upon in the name of jesus I command all those who will supervise you to favor you. There are some of you, what you are lifting is your house rent. What you are lifting is a building project that is not completed. And there is no hope of raising money anywhere. I decree and declare by the finger of God. I call forth helpers to your life now. I call forth helpers to your life now. For some of you, what you are lifting is your marriage certificate. That your marriage is at the verge of tearing into pieces. Because of what the devil wants to do. In the name of Jesus, I mend that home right now. I mend that home right now. For some of you, what you are lifting is a missing organ in your body. They say you don't have this, you don't have that. This is absent in your body. Whatever should be in your body and is not. In the name of Jesus, I call for a replacement now. For some of you, what you are lifting is your ATM card, your checkbook, or your phone as a sign in the name of jesus i declare the kind of alerts that will begin to come in the name of the lord god of heaven let it surprise you let it surprise you let it surprise you i pray for every ministry represented here whatever has created an embargo that you will not rise beyond certain levels that souls will not be saved through your ministry 
that lives will not be changed in the name of jesus i release an anointing upon you now i release an anointing upon you now go and do exploits in the name of jesus anyone in business here i prophesy to you i don't care what your business has looked like between now and the next two months may your business flourish in a way that will surprise you i say it again between now 60 days from today in the name of jesus enter a strange dimension of results hallelujah i'm praying for people here who are trusting god to give them properties if you have the faith for this prayer watch my god surprise you i decree and declare that between now and half of the year you may not even have up to 1000 naira in your account now but in the name of jesus i put properties in your hands i put properties in your hands let them mock you and see what god can do i put properties in your hands treasure of my heart and of my soul in my weakness you are merciful mm. redeemer of my past and present wrong you're the holder of my future days to come Nothing in this world is Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. We live our lives being in a hurry is not the same thing as speed. God is a God of speed. I don't know why I'm preaching this now. This is part of the miracle service. God is the God of speed but God is not the God of rush there is a difference between speed and rush many of us the Spirit of God is speaking to someone here you need to calm down the way you are running with your life you are going to land in trouble the way you are running with ministry you will land in trouble the way you are approaching marriage the way you are approaching destiny you will land in trouble culture and the sociological um, context of our living can mount pressure on us to run ourselves to the ditch my soul wait thou upon the lord god is a god of speed but until he speaks you are on your own it's amazing how you can be running for many years and find out that you are not moving running but not moving and here comes a man as weak as he is but he can walk at the pace of god and more can be achieved in one month with god than 10 years alone have you not learned the excellency of walking with god he said for with god all things without god outside of god there are things that are not possible apostle my life i don't want to be a failure age is already um, not on my side i must make sure that i build a house now i must and god is saying calm down son you have handed your life over to me let me be lord of your life i say lord you don't know the pressure that is coming from my family let's be careful satan comes to attack us at the points of our vulnerability and hijacks us don't miss the series on friday we're rounding up the deliverance series are we together god is already speaking that's what leads many of us to this life of hustling putting your hand in everything and just rushing around and they say why say man must work all those nonsense cliches must get out of your life and your mind if god does not lead me i'm not going nowhere you may call me irresponsible but let me die waiting my soul waits down upon the lord it's now a foreign experience to many of us to wait gone are the days that people say i'm i'm waiting now, people just think waiting is fasting from six to six waiting means waiting 
the bible says except the lord builds a house listen very carefully it says they labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over a city man of god listen businessman he says he says the watchman watched but in vain and my bible says it is vain to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow only to eat the bread of sorrow i'm speaking to someone be tired of the bread of sorrow the bread of sorrow does not feel the bible says he gives his beloved sleep There are many pastors that just get up and feel anointed and just want to rent one small auditorium and punish themselves punish their wives punish the few people that believe in them because they think ministry is just about opening a place and then we have the gods to tell people come it's not that way paul a man approved of god jesus a man approved of god Is God speaking to us? We need to have results in our lives. We are still praying. But you see, God is not a herbalist. Now, there are systems. There is a way that he works. And one of the ways that he works is to direct men. And thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Walk ye in it. And you will find rest for your soul. Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying now? It matters. God is interjecting this miracle service to just minister to someone and say you are, you are hurrying up too much. You think it's breakthrough. You are running. You will soon find out that you've been around the same jungle. For someone after this service, you need to go and calm down with your life and say, I've been running since 2005. What have I done with my life? Absolutely nothing. Oh, come Lord Jesus. Come and direct me. Give me direction. Are we together? The race is not to the swift. And the battle is not to the strong. Not even bread for them that are wise. When a man subscribes to the direction of God, your life may look controversial for a while, but all that will be before you is beauty and glory. Then your life will become Beulah and Hephzibah, the delight of the nations, the excellency of waiting. The hardest thing for a believer to do is to wait. It's easy to rush. It's easy to do a lot of things. You will make more mistakes in your life rushing. There is power in waiting. Are we together? There is power in waiting. We're going to pray for the sick now. There's a lot to do tonight. But listen very carefully. If this message is for you, then I want you to receive it from the depth of your heart. You know, when we come like this, there are various things that the Lord is doing to several people. Not everyone is sick. Not everyone is oppressed. But a word can come and God says, be careful. There are people about to relocate now to regions. They have not sought God. They just assumed. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. There is no place on earth called greener pastures. Greener pastures is a spiritual location. It's where the voice of God for you is. God is already helping someone. How many Nigerians smuggled their way through the desert trying to get to lands because they believe the only difference between your locality and any locality in the world is a greater propensity to discern, appreciate, and reward value. That's all. They have a greater propensity to discern, to appreciate, and to reward value. You can be where you are if you are truly directed by God and He will come to you and bless you. Are we together now? How many of you are trusting the Lord to touch you or touch your loved ones we are going to do it very fast because the second session of this prayer I want to settle down and really really pray seriously and just dismantle a number of things in our lives the grand finale will be on Friday but then you are here we're going to pray for the sick now I promise that we'll do that very early so that we can finish 
and then attend to other issues now you may not be sick listen carefully but if you are a man of god is an opportunity to watch lord what are you doing how does this thing work what can i learn you must remain a student we are all students in the school of the spirit ever learning but in this case in that learning coming to the knowledge of the truth are we together you are trusting god for a healing miracle if you are in overflow one now hold on i want to specifically minister to barren people myself so if you have any case of barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three please i want to minister to you myself please make your way very quickly and come stand you're trusting god for a miracle let's do it very very fast there is a lot to do very fast the worship team will lead us and just charge the atmosphere for us while we do this very fast and then at the same time to save time at the same time your your requests your prayer requests if you are here and you're you're yet to write your prayer request go ahead you can spare a few minutes to just write it now please listen listen very carefully except whoever is laying hands on you maybe ask you or prophesies to you or does whatever you just once they touch you just go back to your seat some of you i notice they touch you and you move to the other side of the line and still stand it's unbelief praise the lord or you are saying okay you don't know my problem is here and you are touching here the lord is showing me something about this woman you don't have fallopian tubes at all oh my god they've removed it Your husband got another wife. <sighs> Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do? trying to embarrass this precious lady I don't know you I'm just seeing you for the first time I'm not a woman so I can't pretend to say I know what is happening here but for a woman to not have fallopian tubes all removed and now it has scattered your marriage let me ask you a question and I'm asking it boldly do you believe that God can give you new fallopian tubes Where are you coming from? Madam, let me tell you, there is a God that sits in heaven. God is not a herbalist. He's a miracle worker. Put your hand on your stomach. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus. Father, that's all right. I decree and declare brand new fallopian tubes. The God that doeth wonders, brand new fallopian tubes. I say it again, brand new fallopian tubes. Madam, allow for some time and go and check yourself in the hospital. Give Jesus praise. Please help this woman. It's an elderly woman. Help her, help her social health. In the name of Jesus, Mama God is delivering you in Jesus' name. The Lord is showing you somebody. Just, just hold on. You, will, you will sing, you will go back to your singing. I just want to. I'm saying that someone, the power of God is going to come upon you here. You are here right now on the line. I want to prophesy to that person. I, I just saw a flash of light, a very strong anointing. Bring the person. The Lord is rolling away the reproach in your life. And the Lord is telling me he's breaking the power of witchcraft over your life. 
in the name of jesus christ the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder therefore in the name of jesus i declare to you not only will you or your brother be healed i decree and declare salvation comes to your family now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please sing for us that song creator of the universe creator of the universe what can you do what can you do you in the realm of the spirit and i'm seeing fibroid is that true how long seven years fibroid confirmed in the hospital that devil is going to leave you now in the name of jesus christ do you have children ma'am i've not married you are not married oh my god
now you be God, Almighty God. You know me, my I'm 
praise the Lord. Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over the next half of this year. Hear the word of the Lord. Become for me seasons of signs and wonders. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Everyone. Shalakato Sabra Hasileka de Bakata. Make sure you are praying. Praise God. Please keep praying, keep praying. Let it become for me seasons of signs and wonders. Seasons of signs and wonders. Hallelujah. So after me in the name of Jesus. Please let me see us. Say in the name of Jesus. Every dimension of grace. Every dimension of the anointing. Required for my next level of exploits. I receive it tonight in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and please pray. Every dimension. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen. That's the next prayer point. We prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be returned unto me. One more time. Everything. Restore unto you the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, and even the palmer worm has taken. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that everything that has left my life and destiny that should not have left. I call you back by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Declare that you might just be justified. Declare. Thank you. 
the name of Jesus Christ. Say it again in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare over my loved ones. Hear the word of the Lord. This is your season of rising. Lift your voice and prophesy over your loved ones. Please believe what you are saying. Prophesy. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. This is your season of rising. A new level, a new dimension in the spirit. says the Egyptians you see today he said you will see them for no more forever I like you in the next five minutes everything that has attempted to mock God in your life don't be afraid open your mouth and declare that under this atmosphere of the anointing of the spirit you are leaving my life and my family forever open your mouth and pray declares thou that ye might as be justified pray don't entertain unbelief I cause poverty I cause failure pray Jesus cause the victory
Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you this. Was he praying? Many of us here, all you need is the ministry of helpers. Are we together now? The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. Do you know why he spoke about the hills? Because God used the strategy of the hill to protect the people. Every time there was war, he would lead them up the hill. And if they got there, there would always be victory. Remember Elijah. When, it, when there was time for any contest, he would say, go up the hill. Mount Camel, Mount Zion, Mount this and that. And so he said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. But he said, no, no, no. Where comments my help? He said, my help, the, the hill is only a strategy. The hill is not my source. And then he says, my help cometh. That means just like faith, help to cometh. Faith cometh. Help cometh. Your help can come from other places. By divination and witchcraft, a man can attract a system of attention. But he will pay for it. Listen. Ebenezer is a revelation of the hand of God that can help a man. Blessed is a man that finds help from God. Many people are suffering because there is no help. Life can be cheap when there is help. Believe me when I tell you this. How much is the rent that the God of heaven cannot pay it? How much is it? What is the job issue? With a single signature, a man's life can change. But I told you, every man who helps you has relatives who are in need. It takes a grace and anointing to compel them to leave those who they are connected by blood and come to help you. This world is too wicked for any kind of kindness to happen by default. I'd like you to cry, Father, in this season, I'm ready to receive of the ministry of destiny helpers. Please open your mouth and cry. Be serious. Some of you are looking at me. Pray, pray. In the name of Jesus, was you praying? This prayer session is a very major part of tonight's miracle service, and I want you to pray because people are receiving results. We are still going to pray over the issue of help. Let me tell you the truth, brothers and sisters. You see, this ministry, by the grace of God, is a product of the help of God. My life as a person is a product of the help of God it is vain my Bible says to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow he said for he giveth his beloved sleep there are men of God that need help there are anointed people that need help there are intelligent graduates that need help there are married men and women that need help 
the holy spirit is called a helper the mercy of god can create a platform for help i've taught you this we are going to pray if you don't pray it will not happen i want you to be tired of your current level financially you all in god can step in and you have value you are package your value but there is no system of placing a demand you must cry to the heavens lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart prophesy to the north prophesy to the south prophesy to the east prophesy to the west where is the raven that came and fed elijah at butchery my god arise for me as a helper Shaka barakatos, shaka taka 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 taka, raka tapa katos, shake the break the take the take the take the Shama sonda barakatos ya taka Help for my family, O God. We cry for your help. Pray for your business. Arise, O God, as a helper. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, then we were like them that dream. And then said they among the hidden, the Lord has done great things for us. He said, the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again the captivity of Zion, like the streams of the Negev. Lift your voice and labor in the place of prayer. Everything that is alive grows. I provoke growth in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying over the issue of help. Listen. You are going to pray for your loved ones. I know this about Africa. If you rise alone, you will not remain there. <clears throat> In Africa, as you rise, you pray for your loved ones to rise too. If you are the only successful person out of 15 people, they will stretch you and drain you. If Joseph and his brothers were also equally successful, they will not persecute him. But he was one out of many. I saw the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowing to one person. And the brother said, no way. And they walked him out. My Bible says that a man's enemies shall be the members of his own household. Sometimes it's not binding and casting. Lord, show them mercy too. So that as I'm rejoicing, they will rejoice and leave me in peace. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. I provoke divine help over my loved ones. I prophesy to them that in this season, receive the help of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray for your loved ones. Financial help, spiritual help, career help. Help, oh God. Shapakatos, Shapros Ketabarakato Shanamakata. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37 and he took me in the spirit of the Lord and he took me to a valley and the Bible says that valley was full of bones and it says the bones were very dry bones don't dry up in one day it means they have been there for a long time we want to visit age-long situations that have refused to go you were born and you met that problem you have become an adult you have met that no 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 it must go that it has stayed long does not mean it's valid say in the name of jesus every dry bone in my life and in my family hear the word of the lord i decree and declare let life come to you now lift your voice and pray prophesy life your father lost his job since 1991 till today he has not gotten a job hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord oh ministry hear the word of the lord oh business hear the word of the lord oh destiny hear ye the word of the lord the bible declares 
that where the word of the king is, there is power. Hallelujah. And he said, Son of man, what seest thou? He said, Son of man, prophesy to these bones. And say, O bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. And all of that, he said, And as I prophesied, as I was commanded, there was a sound. And then a shaking. Notice that the bones began to look for themselves. Meaning they have the ability to restructure themselves. Kabbalah Kota Shikata. And then the bones were there but there was no life he says son of man prophesy again to the four winds and say all oh, wind breathe upon this lane and the wind came and breathed upon the bones and there arose an exceeding great army listen god is able god is able to turn a man's captivity overnight he said have you ever heard that a city gives birth in one day but he said as soon as zion travails we know that death is nine months but something can happen to the rod of aaron and it can burn overnight with no root i like you to say lord let the supernatural work in my life in this season business at a supernatural rate ministry at a supernatural rate if it is the lord's doing then it must be marvelous in my eyes lift your voice and pray as soon as zion travails as soon as zion travails she shall put forth a son as soon as zion travails pray hallelujah hallelujah the apostle said i desired once again to come to you but satan hindered us your breakthrough desire to come to you but satan hindered it your helpers desire to come to you have you seen a situation Jimmy, where someone is about to bless you but before you reach your helper your enemy got there before you and told them something that turned their minds against you he said the rod of the wicked will not fall upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity please i'd like you to be angry in your spirit and pray we're not here to waste time brothers and sisters this is how victory is legislated and established in the kingdom are we together he says do not be ignorant of the devices the methodologies from the word stratomai the methodology of satan there are methods he said do not let your good be evil spoken of have you seen that that's a method that i call you and satan makes me interpret it as sarcasm I just call you to say how are you and he says so you are mocking me it's, it's important that your good is interpreted as good Jesus went to a city and they didn't receive him do you think they just didn't please carry your healing rubbish and go how many men of God were sent by God to families to help them but the devil changed their perception over that grace say no 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 anything pastor they are all riffraffs they are beggars they are liars they are hungry people they just want my money it's a strategy someone wants to teach you something and help you say no this this guy don't no 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 I desired once again to come to you but Satan hindered us how many people today would have been helped by God are we together now you heard that they are applying jobs but the devil made you feel that just because there are people scamming people everywhere the job that was your own was a scam too and you sat down and said no way and today you are still employed we need to cry to God 
to help us know what is of God and what is not of God because many times they look the same is the spirit of discernment that will help you five people may be cheating you but the sixth person may be genuine and you can't you join anybody that comes and then you remain poor and broke forever there are families today you never talk about anything good sir they gave us a prayer no 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 that's how that useless prophet came and prophesied and collected my hundred thousand don't bring any man of god here whereas the person who god was sending was like elijah to the widow of zarephath the fact that there is evil does not mean the grace of god is insufficient please listen to me there are people today who have been ordained to be blessed to listen but satan has clouded their minds so that they are cynical about everything that is god are we together i remember a few years ago i went to a house to pray for them i was invited and i got to the house i usually don't go to people's houses to pray for them and i went to the house and uh, um i just saw the man the, the owner of the house the sarcasm and the look that he was looking at me here they come these hungry young men again i tried to greet him i even held wine for them so that there's no suspicion and that man from what i saw didn't have up to two months to live and i sat down i was talking with the family and the man was just looking you know you know all this do do and leave my house until by the mercies of god god began to speak to him at the end of it it was him that escorted me out he said ah, ah you are you are you know my friend he collected my i said look at this man would have missed this miracle brothers and sisters some of our loved ones you know what i'm saying are like that their blessings kept passing for the last 10 years they organize a program near your house and they say no 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 once it is not you it is not god it's an error what of business opportunities just because people have been scammed here just because something came out and something happened there be anything business god forbid don't even mention anything oh sorry dear sir. no 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 don't talk to me and then you remain poor and broke and say god what is wrong he told joshua be strong and of good courage in life it takes audacity to know when your opportunity comes 28 of genesis god came to jacob and jacob out of his fear and cynicism was not ready for that visitation the next verses would lead him to the house of laban where he learned by his pain by chapter 32 he was ready the bible says when god came again he held him he said whether you are not god i will shall hold you it's in your holding i will find out i won't let you go till you bless me he said what is your name he said jacob he said thou shalt no more be called jacob but israel for as a prince you have power with god and you have prevailed and he touched his tie and blessed him and the bible says then the son arose and he called the name of the place peniel for he had met with god face to face i have seen god face to face and my life arose and the bible says then the son arose because it is the breaking of the day that comes with joy for as long as it is night weeping endures are we together I want us to maximize these meetings let's not just come before god and fulfill the ritual and then share the grace and go back it's time for us to move the bible says how forcible are right words you are hearing something that is waking you up and challenging you are we together i know i took i think i took i don't know if it was a whole month or so to pray for destiny help us Hey, Jimmy, your life is stranded until a helper comes. I know this. There was a man who was so crippled he could not walk. And Jesus came to town. He heard about it but could not get there. But certain people came. Your helpers will insist till you are blessed. Listen. A helper is not a well-wisher. A well-wisher is just a sociological being with a sense of empathy. A helper is sent and ordained. His ministry continues till you rise. Some men came to David in a cave called Adulam and they vowed that we must make you king. You are seeing a man who is already weak. No result. 
ah, when your helpers come to you it will look like a charm there will be no reason for them to remain they will call you have you gotten the job sir no sir ah, after okay i'm going to abuja for you and you start saying i hope there's no string attached no 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 i only saw myself helping you in a dream are we together every destiny helper has those in need please hear me graduates hear me oh every space for a job has hundreds of thousands of others connected but when god decides to help you he said jacob have i loved jacob have i loved hallelujah jacob have i loved God changes the rules as if it's unfair to you. Hapa. There is such a dimension. The helper of Israel. When you labor and labor and labor and labor, you'll be lying to say you are giving God glory. There are many testimonies that are just a product of carnality. The way you suffered for that miracle is why you cannot give it when God places a demand. Greed has an explanation when you when you acquire by labor and suffering and hardship you can't give but if it's freely you received it freely you will give are we together your destiny is one helper away by the privilege of god's grace i've been privileged to be a destiny helper to many people and overnight they got jobs without interview just because i happen to know someone in a position of influence and i say sir please there is someone can you help me i say apostle if it's you that's it the same way someone too has spoken he's the help of god we rise by his help your business will open up by his help everything you have is needed on earth but it takes god to connect you to a man who is unashamed about his need for your grace it is the help of god that brought us here brothers and sisters the help of God there are pastors that need the help of God you can blow balloon and put it around you can do everything and find out that the people come and say it's cold don't we take tea in this church and be sarcastic towards you yet somebody called by God to help you will stand in the rain and say I'm sent and I'm not going anywhere when last did you receive help in your life when last did you receive help please hear what i'm telling you do you know if you do things alone and by yourself you are not blessed even if you succeed in doing it help help that god arises for a man and say young men established within 10 years but i have chosen promise that in one month I will do i will walk a walk in your life that if it were told you you would not believe hallelujah a few weeks ago someone called me he was he was he's planning on getting married and he went and collected the list just two or three weeks ago and the list was quite voluminous and it challenged him and he called me that he's trying to seek advice whether it's the will of God or not. I told him, I said, no, that, that is a foolish, that is a foolish concern. Are you seeing, the, you labored with a lady to go and meet her parents just because of the enormity of the list. You are now seeking whether it's the will of God, going behind. What is there to ask whether it's the will of God or not? Listen, I know that it looks like it's just a joke, but it's a serious issue. How many people have gotten high blood pressure because there is no help? No help. Ask the medical doctors, they will tell you. You buy a car alone. You look for food alone. You walk alone. You seek counsel by yourself. You advise yourself. No helper. You see people moving like Cain all around. Nobody to help. Nobody to advise you. Their pastor, Pastor Bolaji. Do you know sometimes Pastor Bolaji would call me 
and say man of god how is everything happening i hope here in the north there's nothing you know this and that you're fine everything and i say oh pastor you're a busy man why do you have to do this and he said we need to encourage ourselves and i said my god help 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 are you ready for god to really help you our message is by the grace of god are being spread on eagle's wings is by the spirit but is through the help of men 70 percent of the invitations where i go to somebody stands maybe in a church council to say bring this man of god i know see all these people from the north no 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 no. i know this one who knows you enough to speak for you at the gates because there are times you are not permitted to enter the chambers where your value is needed but it will take mordecai uh, mordecai mordecai is outside but mordecai needs to find favor with the king but it will take god using someone inside joseph is in the prison but destined for the throne a wine presser needs to split your case before the king one more time father listen listen whoever must rise up and be an instrument to shift me to the next level please send them to send them my way i want i i cry that you pray with all your heart men can be helped of god my help cometh from the lord there were many widows in zarafat they all needed help but to none was elijah sent except a widow in zarafat how about the rest there were many widows also needing help but God chooses to send a prophet to just one of them hallelujah the last prayer point and then we'll pray here the Bible says according as his divine power please listen hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness to life i will never be the man of god who will teach you to live a defeated life at the expense of your spiritual growth no no there are matters that pertain to life there are matters that pertain to godliness his divine power covers them all so i can excel in the matters that pertain unto godliness and still excel in the matters that pertain unto life i should not serve god and tell my children to go and beg a neighbor for food he says since i was young now i am old i have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread you know many believers in their carnality and the depravity of wisdom they think that when you begin to focus about the matters of life it's a sign that you are becoming less spiritual i can tell you from experience that the pain that comes from the issues of life can make you ungodly are we together the ladies that go into prostitution do they go into prostitution with poor men the young men that join occults all these cult groups vibrant young people and the next thing you see they are in a devilish cult somewhere it's easy for us to criticize them but you will be surprised that it's from that occult they are feeding their families compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity as a man of god i must be compassionate enough about your situation thank god for your spiritual life but i want you to do well that's what success means are we together i have food in my house right now but do you have food only a wicked man of god will enjoy and rise at the expense of the rising of others a true shepherd lays down his life doesn't climb on the ship some of you sow into my life i must teach you how others will also sow into your life it can't be all about me you are bringing seeds you are blessing me and i'm seeing the benefit of it to my spiritual life but how about you i came with a passion tonight if one person rises in a ministry alone is that a blessing no he called many sons to glory not a few 
there are many of you with business ideas there are many of you with ministries there are many of you desperately waiting for a job and men are beginning to say where is your god you are no longer young you have been praying and fasting and doing all of this if you cannot bring fruits that befit your work with god we will stop you from coming for koinonia or we will stop you from doing this and god wants to arise and prove himself mighty why won't you pray well when you eat well why won't you pray well when you the receipt of your children's school fees is being paid for i have the privilege by the mercies of god to support many families here and sometimes I, my eyes are full of tears after a powerful meeting and i see someone standing and say sir my children once upon a time two dear ladies here for five years a jimmy just to buy jam form beautiful wonderful godly ladies and that's exactly what satan wants after the prayer after falling under the anointing you get up and your needs remain and you sit in the night and say look can't i do something the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity many of us have dipped our hands in iniquity simply because of the hunger that is in your belly was it not hunger that took israel to egypt talk to me was it prosperity that took them there no there was hunger in the land and israel had to go to egypt to look for food they went to egypt and stayed until they became slaves when they began to say it's time for our exodus pharaoh looked at them and said uh-huh you are beginning to find some level of convenience don't give them straw it's because you are giving them straw that they have the time to even call upon the name of the lord leave them to find straw by themselves and they say moses don't go to pharaoh again every time you want to rise it's like a it's like a thermometer the devil tries to make sure that there is a harsh climate economically and otherwise i stand to tell you you can be of influence you can be prosperous and you can be spiritual jesus grew in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men the lamb's wife is a balanced woman he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said and he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in depth any doctrine that does not preach that balance is not presenting the lamb's wife you are showing something else the lamb's wife is a balanced city the church of god must arise and help believers to do well in life this you see a lot of people prayer warriors torn trouser torn destiny you just see them move around you now go to say i want to marry you and the girl's father says, if i ever see you near the corridor of my house you say but i praise i say so what we keep mocking the name of the lord there are many people do you know that the times that i've had counseling people a major reason why people backslide and leave god is that they get to a level in life now where the matters of life stand glaring before them and they are surprised that as spiritual as they are now the church started as a prayer meeting and you were doing well healing the sick now suddenly you have gotten to a size where you need rent and you just realize that per use is hundred thousand your prayer life just starts going down slowly all of a sudden you find out that your wife is pregnant and they say just bring something just to test and make sure she's fine you say i don't have anything say well the god that we serve is a victorious god are we together many of you have the hearts to support the kingdom but the means is not there listen to me listen to me for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave in life i give you a guarantee for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave the anointing comes upon you but alongside the anointing is capacity for influence it took a man of influence called joseph of arimathea to get jesus from the cross it was not a prayer warrior that brought jesus from the cross a prayer warrior supervised his birth but a wealthy man supervised his resurrection we're a ministry of prayer we're a ministry that fasts we're a ministry of the word but we must be a ministry with results that are all around 
and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things not some things the last prayer point like naaman you may be the captain of a great army the bible says he conquered valiantly but he was crippled the one or two areas in your life i'm giving you a personal time of supplication now one or two areas in your life that must balance this equation to present christ well let's cry together and say god you have done well in this area and i thank you but lord i cry that in this area may your glory be represented in my life please lift your voice and pray please pray in my life keep praying be glorified be glorified cry to the lord in my life be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you lord you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor keep praying i just want to say thank you so in my life Stretch your hands over the prayer requests and let's begin to pray. This is a representation of our pain. It's a representation of our needs. Just cry to the Lord. from the dead that Lord every request here before you upon this altar I ask my God and my King the one who heareth them that call upon you arise in your majesty and turn these requests into testimonies it is unto you that answers prayer that we have come and lord in the name that is above all names we provoke your integrity over these issues 
lord there are issues here that only god can solve some of the issues represented here are life and death issues we will search for you and we will find you we will find you with all our hearts we will lift our hands to you in worship and we will worship with all my heart Lord I will search for you and I will find you I will find you with all my heart and I will lift my voice to you in worship I will worship You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. I speak over this request in the name of the Lord God of heaven like he has done it before may every request here before God be turned now into supernatural testimonies may God turn every situation here to supernatural testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ just give me two three minutes and we're done I want to speak over your life now when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you hold my hands represents shame and reproach in your life i cry to the god of heaven to roll it away like smoke before the wind in the name of jesus christ i pray for every man of god represented here fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar in the name of jesus christ every issue of concern in your career in your business and in your life i send the word of god like a messenger to reproduce the garden of eden over your issue in the name of jesus christ when a man's ways pleases the lord he maketh even his enemy to be at peace with him i declare whoever must be at peace must be at peace with you to rise i command peace to happen between you master we have toiled all night he said nevertheless at thy word i want to prophesy to you where you failed before go back again with an anointing go back
up with the grace that makes men succeed in the name of Jesus Christ and the Lord visited Sarah and she called the name of her son Isaac he said all those who hear about this will laugh with me I introduce you to a new season of laughter 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 turn again our captivities like the streams of the Negev I pray for you it will be like a dream of the night the way God will turn your life around anyone here under the plague of death any family represented here that the devil has vowed that they will not see the end of the year together in joy i decree oh death where is thy sting and oh grave where is thy victory i command death to pass from over you in the name of jesus he said let the people praise me and then the earth shall yield every ground can yield i command your ground to produce for you Amen. daniel chapter 2 and when you read from verse 28 downwards he said but there is a god that revealed secrets i pray for you the secret the mystery that you need to hold on to in this season that will shift you to a new level the kingdom truth the revelation of the spirit because the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not the truth you need to lay your hands upon may my God open your eyes to see it and the Bible says that you shall be called all nations shall call you blessed and you shall be called a delightsome land it's called Beulah and Hephzibah a land that is desirable and Isaac looked at his sons and said the smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed I decree and declare may the fragrance of heaven that calls for favor to men may it come upon your life now in the name of Jesus Christ it says thou causes men to ride over our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou brought us, us into a wealthy place i decree and declare help even in the area of finances may it arise for you i say it again help even in the area of finances may it arise for you finally i pray for every family represented here and that includes those connecting with us online it doesn't matter what part of the world you are following from in the name that is above all names the Lord has made a, declare, a declaration that this is our year of signs a sign and a wonder is a miracle with a message on it therefore I decree and declare may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders I say it again may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders in the name of Jesus wave your hands and give Jesus praise thank you Jesus hallelujah Paradventure, you are here in this place tonight everyone please listen please no moving around let's honor the name of the Lord you are here you have seen what the Lord has done you've heard me teach and the Holy Spirit began to convict you to tell you that the time had come for you to make Jesus Lord of your life and to take him seriously I want to give you that opportunity right now there are people here saying apostle I've heard about God I've been around the things of God I've been around church I have a Christian name my father may even be a man of God my mother is an intercessor but I I declare my need for God tonight and then there are others here who are saying apostle I have given my life to Christ but at one point or the other I just found my life going haywire and I'm saying I need Jesus if you belong to any of these categories I like you to make a bold step overflow one overflow two the main auditorium you can walk and come out here and then overflow three you can go 
in front of your projector stand if you are there please make your way quickly let's honor them as they come the holy spirit is convicting someone don't wait for someone to come be the first god bless you koinonia you are appreciating them in the name of jesus christ there has to be someone making a decision for jesus god bless you god bless you keep clapping as they come win that war tonight win that war god bless you as you come it says he that cometh to him he will in no wise cast away make your way make your way to this front god bless you keep coming we have one minute for you if you're coming from outside please double up your steps very quickly very quickly say call for total surrender lord you gave me your life i'm giving you mine right now are there people still coming make your way very quickly apostle i'm not sure if i'm born again or not i've been around the things of god but i'm not exactly sure join them join them quickly when the titanic sank there were only two names those who were lost and those who were saved no in-betweens make your way quickly hallelujah i salute every one of you if you are joining them please join them very quickly overflow three you can move to the front of your projector those online giving their hearts to jesus just follow and pray along with us by faith in the name of jesus now i want you to lift your right hand sincerely you're not reciting a poem you are speaking to the lord and he's here listening to you say after me lord jesus say it again say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for me i believe that you were raised up for my justification tonight i hand over my life to you and i receive your life in return i declare that the power of sin the power of the flesh the power of satan is broken over my life i declare that i'm a child of god i am saved the grace to walk in victory to walk in liberty is mine now in jesus name keep your hands lifted jesus i present to you the ones you died for we thank you for bringing these ones out no man can come to the father except you draw them lord jesus i pray that the grace that keeps men in this kingdom let it be supplied your people right now in the name of jesus christ i declare over your life and i decree that you are going forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ every challenge you came here with as a result of this new life let new victories come for you in jesus name i pray a big congratulations to you thank you so much now i want you to follow someone waving his hands there's a gentleman waving his hands there can i see who is waving his hands now please very quickly i'd like you to follow him all of you in concerts just follow the gentleman there'll be a group of people to just meet with you very quickly and very briefly let's honor them <laughs> hallelujah dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development Lord grant me the discipline 